Many folk believe that on Christmas Eve, Santa flies in a reindeer sleigh with treats and toys for girls and boys. And it's true, but just part way. Santa comes to all, both large and small, and he rides on whatever need be. How do I know that this is so? Well, sit back and listen to me. I spent most of my youth cutting timber for Booth, the Ottawa's old lumber king. We would skid, saw, and haul the whole winter from fall, then come out with the drive in the spring. But December, always, we'd knock off a few days and through snow-covered woods make our way to spend Christmas at home. Then back we would roam and land in at the camp New Year's Day. Well, one year it snowed till it buried the road. Not a horse, dog, nor man could get through. We faced Christmas alone in the camp on our own. No family, no friends, just the crew. No turkey, no goose, just beans and salt moose. No music, no dancing, no beer. No presents, no kisses from young'uns or missus. No Christmas tree, no Christmas cheer. Then our cook, Pierre, told a tale eerie and old, and I'll never forget how it ends, of some loggers who flew in the devil's canoe to get home to their loved ones and friends. Dem not us, mes amis. We are stuck just ici. We must get Christmas out of our head. So Christmas Eve, teary-eyed with a blizzard outside, we sang one sad Noel, then to bed. Well, the wind ceased to blow, the stars gleamed on the snow, the air filled with fur and pine smells. I was counting my sheep and was almost asleep when I'm blessed if I didn't hear bells. Like bells on a sleigh that was coming our way, but from over the roof they were ringing. The bells jingled nearer and louder and clearer and I heard voices laughing and singing. Then a shimmering light floated down in the night. Through our window we watched its soft glow. We rose shirtless, unsocked, crept outside, and then gawked at a huge red canoe on the snow. It was at least eight foot wide, six foot tall on a side, and a hundred foot long if an inch, and beneath the tall firs, twelve big elf voyageurs clambered out. I gave myself a big pinch. They wore saint tur fleche and were laughing away as they shouldered huge packs to Burr Elf, while back in the stern, laughing loud in his turn, stood the old jolly maitre himself. He looked jovial and wise with sparkling black eyes and cheeks and nose red as a cherry. He'd a great long white beard and a paddle that steered that canoe like it was the Queen Mary. <laughs> bon fête, mes amis! You are unhappy, I see, passing here such a sad réveillon. So I bring Christmas bonheur with my compagnon voyageur, as Père Noël de Chantier I am known. At this time of year, I take Christmas cheer to all loggers, wherever they be. And we laugh, and we feast, so ne soyez plus triste. And don't worry, I'm not chasse <laughs> Now, let us begin. And he led us back in where 50 bright lamps now were burning. I smelled spices and spruce 
And on the camboose was a pig on a spit, slowly turning. Hemlock boughs decked the walls like baronial halls, green needles, red berries revealing. And much to our glee, a trimmed Christmas tree grew from under the floor through the ceiling. A plank table nearby held tourtière and sea pie, roasted turkeys piled high as a mountain, haunch of mutton, beef steak, sugar plums, Christmas cake, and a punch bowl that flowed like a fountain. There were ten kinds of fish, jellied eels in a dish, beans with salt pork so fat it would flutter hearts. There was brandy and wine, trotters pickled in brine, watermelons, pineapples, and butter tarts. <laughs> well, we all took a place, our foreman said grace, and we all tucked in with a will. There was laughing and fun till the feasting was done, and we'd eaten and all drunk our fill. Then the singing began. Every boy, lad, and man was coaxed to sing what he sang best, Ballad, ditty, or song, funny, sad, short, or long, everyone had to fill a request. We heard Mother Malone, the green hills of Tyrone, Vlal Bon Vin, the $10 bill, Mon Revenant de Bordeaux, Les Draveurs, La Gatineau, James McGee, the foot of Collins Hill, the plains of Waterloo, Sa femme pendue à son cou, the chapel boys, La Soutane du Curé, the maid of Mohi, the old apple tree, Harry Dunn, je voudrais me marier. And we didn't forget it was Christmas Eve yet, and we joined in some favorite Noels, Wenceslas, vive le vin, il est né le divin enfant, deck the halls, silent night, jingle bell. And as we all sang, every man in the gang had a vision of those he loved best, so that each of us knew that all was well at home, too, and that this Christmas Eve, we'd been blessed. Père Noel broke our trance when he cried, let us dance, tamarack her down on the pine floor. There appeared at his chin a bright red violin, and we leapt to our feet with a roar. We divided in pairs, we formed into squares, while the fiddles struck up twenty tunes. We danced the quadrille, I can hear those tunes still, and Pierre played along on the spoons. Just after midnight, long before it was light, Père Noël called, mes amis, no delay. Réveillon now is done, Christmas day has begun. Voyageur, nous devons voyager. Then quick as a wink and before you could blink, they packed up and filed out, not a sound. We followed into the night and by the starlight watched the big canoe lift off the ground. Some quick paddle strokes, a short song, a few jokes, and they'd cleared that low shanty of ours. Then treetops astern, the big canoe made a turn, and Père Noël steered it up towards the stars. As their paddles flashed bright and plied into the night, Père Noël waved and we all heard him say, let your arts too take wing, after winter comes spring. Joyeux Noël, mi boucheron, et bonne année. Many folk believe that on Christmas Eve, Santa flies in a reindeer sleigh with treats and toys for girls and boys. But you see, it's not always that way. Santa comes indeed to whoever's in need, and he flies in whatever will do. A reindeer sleigh, or a Chevrolet, or a magic red Christmas. Canoe. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>